A BSO deputy facing a judge after being accused of betraying the badge as well as the innocence of a child. Seven's Nicole Linsalata is live near Fort Lauderdale at the Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters where Sheriff Gregory Tony addressed the arrest. Nicole. Yeah, he did just a few moments ago, Robin, and he said this all happened as a result actually at a domestic violence call, which means, you know, everybody involved is is, uh, you know, their their emotions are heightened. There's a lot of tension. And he says this deputy, instead of going there and protecting and serving, instead took advantage by preying on, he says, the 17 year old daughter of this family. And he says that's just unacceptable. So, sir, I understand that you may have private counsel represent you and you're requesting the case be reset for tomorrow. 35 year old Broward Sheriff's Deputy Jemiah Thomas before a judge Tuesday, supported by family members who chose not to say anything publicly. And the charges against him are serious. Obscene communication with a child, transmission of harmful material to a child, lewd and lascivious behavior and others. We'll backtrack. We go out to a domestic violence call. Deputy arrives there back in September have communications with the young girl there, 17 years of age, at some point exchange phone numbers, have their text messages going back and forth. And throughout that texting and communicating, there had been strategic efforts to plan and meet with the minor, sexual communications, um, pictures being sent. This from the union in part, we are only privy to the charges brought against him and not the details of the investigation. The alleged charges, if true, are extremely concerning and unacceptable. This here is one of the most grotesque uh, and deliberate attempts to really abuse a minor in our community. Now, we understand he has been a deputy for six years. We asked about his record as a deputy, but the sheriff says really none of that matters. What matters is what happened here, what is alleged to have happened here. Now, he will appear again in court tomorrow, and the sheriff says right now he is suspended without pay. Reporting live at BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale, Nicole Insalata, 7 News.